Hey, what's up? So I was looking at my man Zeus. He did the math doesn't lie, 144,000. So 144,000, right? This is what he was doing. Divided by 216. And we're gonna get this. This is this is what he did first. 666.66. All right. Now. We can, we can do different combinations, I'll show you a couple. 144, divide that by 6. 24, okay, simple. Divide that by 66 here. Ah, oh, not so simple. You can see this is perfect both ways, both the sides. Um, palindrome, as it's called. Sequence of 9s rather than 6s. 144. 144, divide that by 666, and sort of another palindrome, uh, you know, the numbers, will, the meanings will come, just kind of look at them, it's, look, it's 216, 216, 216, 216, um, well, let's do, uh, 144, divide that by 216, and then you can reverse each of them, okay, see that? Then we can do 216, divide that by 144. 1.5, okay, kind of sent back to the simple. So the point I'm getting at is this. Uh, he was asking, what's the meaning of 216? Zeus was asking. So apparently 216 asks you to believe in yourself constantly. Which is pretty nice. 555,000 or 555,000, kind of cool. I found this interesting on uh, Yahoo Answers here. Does the 216 uh, have any significance? Um, I like uh, what this guy said. Right? The 216 colors formed by a 6x6x6 six by six by six color cube. Right? Uh, 6 cubed, Mark of the Beast in Christianity. Which we saw here. You know, 6 times 6. Times six is going to give you two sixteen six times six times six. So what does this mean? One hundred and forty four divided by six hundred and sixty six. What could this mean? It's going to give us two sixteen two sixteen. Um, the hundred forty four thousand bodies divided by the carbon six 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 atom is going to give us 216, which is actually us believing in ourselves constantly. 